the interstate will be closed between the Gene Snyder and the Watterson for the next 10 days. I think we could start taking the helicopter to <laughs> We might work. need to. It would be nice, right? <laughs> it's going to cause a major traffic headache for anyone living in East Louisville or Oldham County. WLKY's Vinash Quinguari spoke with project leaders about why this had to be done now. For the past few years, a significant portion of I-71 southbound has been deteriorating. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet leaders say they've tried to remedy the situation with temporary fixes here and there. But now, it's time for a more permanent solution. On Friday night, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet will begin construction on I-71 southbound between the Gene Snyder and the Watterson Expressway. We've been doing a lot of pothole patching on I-71 in that area. But now Matt Bullock, chief engineer with the Department of Highways, says it's time for a full removal and resurfacing of the pavement. The interstate will be closed for 10 days for the repairs. Frustration. And it's not sitting well with area drivers. Bob Reynolds owns Reynolds overhead doors in Crestwood and uses I-71 to get to his many clients in Louisville. It makes it even more difficult because now we've got to travel side roads, cost more time, more money, more wear and tear on our vehicles. And businesses like his aren't the only ones having to adjust. It's going to be a pain, yeah, 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 definitely going to be a pain. KYTC recommends drivers take an alternate route, taking I-265 south to I-64 west to I-264 east and then back on I-71 south. Though leaders say Brownsboro Road, Westport Road, and 42 are also viable options. But they need to stay patient. Bullock says they apologize for the inconvenience, but in addition to safety, closing I-71 allows crews to work on both sides of the road at the same time, which he says will create a better product in the end. You get what's called a hot joint between those two lanes. Normally you do one lane while you're maintaining traffic on the other, mm -hmm. and you have a cold joint, and those joints don't last as long as you would if you did a hot joint and had them side by side paving. So we're gonna get actually benefit Minaj Pongwari, WLKY News. All right, once again, I-71 southbound will close tonight at 8 o'clock. It's expected to reopen Monday, September 26th at 7 in the morning. Good luck.